Hello everybody and welcome to another Batman review. Today it is season 1 episode 17, True or False Face, starring uh, Malachi Throne as False Face. Um, a new villain uh, to the show, not Two-Face. Uh, it would be very easy to confuse him, I feel, but I did like the gimmick behind this False Face character and thought for the most part it was implemented very well throughout the episode. So we start with a scene with our villain False Face and his henchwoman Blaze, and it's an excellent introduction to both characters, although I have to say the way the character of Blaze is used throughout the rest of these two episodes I wasn't all that wild about. But she's fine here, and their plot is to steal some kind of crown, a typical uh, theft plot like we see on this show all the time. So then we go to a scene in the commissioner's office, and uh, we get lines from Robin, like the opposite of a girl is a boy. Uh, Thank you for that, Burt Ward. He says it's so serious, too. Uh, sometimes i got to say he wasn't given the best lines on this show. But Burt Ward always does the best he can, so thank you for that. And also in this scene, Blaze is disguised, and uh, that was pretty cool. So basically this all leads to some detective work by Batman and Robin. And it leads to a, a chase scene and a fight in an alley against False Face and his henchmen, who are about as worthless as the henchmen usually are on this show. Uh, it's a pretty typical fight scene. It was fine. Then the police eventually arrive, and they, uh, they, they catch most of the gang. But False Face gets away because he actually uses his powers to change his face. He impersonates Chief O'Hara. I'm not sure exactly how he does this. It's never explained. But it's a cool effect seeing two Chief O'Haras on screen together. And, of course, he knocks out the real one with gas because that's usually what the villains do on this show. But it was pretty cool. So this eventually... Uh, means that False Face is in hiding for the rest of the episode, which I thought was very clever. This episode's very fast-paced and action-packed, which I appreciated. Not a ton of exposition here. And this leads us to a scene where Batman basically uh, captures Blaze. So they have her uh, back in the commissioner's office. And um, Blaze is pretty defiant still at this point. Uh, maybe a little bit too defiant for what happens with her character later, which I'll get to. But eventually she agrees to take Batman and Robin to False Face's hideout. And she takes him to this subway. And I have to say, Batman, once again, is not being uh, very intelligent. It's pretty obvious this is a trick and that the hideout wouldn't be anywhere in the subway. I didn't really totally get this. But eventually this leads into a trap and False Face is waiting. And he eventually ties Batman and Robin to the uh, train tracks with a train coming soon and all of a sudden Blaze doesn't really like this. She says is it really necessary to kill them and while I understand that she might not be a killer, her character does a complete change here. She was defiant the whole episode and Batman really hasn't been that nice to her or anything. Not that he should be but this character change seemed kind of abrupt and contrived and didn't really work for me. But we'll see where it heads in part two. So we leave off with an interesting cliffhanger which uh probably won't be resolved in that interesting of a way because the cliffhangers usually aren't. But overall, True or False Face is a very solid and fast-paced episode that I enjoyed despite a few flaws, and I give it a 3.5 out of 5. Definitely a fast-paced episode that I recommend for fans of this series. So 3.5 out of 5 for True or False Face, and as always, thank you very much for watching.